You guys are always asking me for a hair care routine, meaning you wanna see me wash, condition, everything I do post shower, and then styling. So today we are gonna film the whole thing for you. I definitely been going to the gym this week. I've been using product this week. We have oil, we have grease, we have buildup, and it's time for a wash. So you can see what the hair looks like now, and we are going to take you along for the ride. I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Today I'm gonna show you guys my hair care routine. You guys are always asking about this one, specifically using all of my Heritage by Mindy products. Let's get to it. If you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure to click the button right here. Don't forget to ring the bell so you get our notifications, and let's go. Okay, so the first thing I do when I pop in the shower is wet my hair down, of course, and then I grab my out of my hair shampoo. And the co-wash is a little heavy most of the time on my hair, so I prefer out of my hair. And I just take a couple pumps, and then I put it in the top of my hair. And always when you start with shampoo, you wanna work it into the top of your hair first, not the root of your hair. You wanna work it, or not the ends of your hair, excuse me. You wanna work it into the root of your hair. And if your hair is like mine, and I usually go four or five days between washes, so I have a good amount of buildup of product in my hair that you'll see that this isn't super lathery this first time. Pro tip is to wash twice. I kind of run it once like this, just get it going, and then I'll flip the water back on and rinse it a little bit, and then I'll do it again. Let me rinse this, and you'll see the difference. If you wash your hair every day, this might not be a big one for you. But for those of us that go a few days, this is important. So I'll do it again. Then same thing, and you'll see the difference immediately. And another pro tip is, a lot of people forget this part of their scalp and hair, and they just only do this top section like this. So make sure you're dragging that shampoo all the way through, and you can see what a huge difference that makes on your hair. And I'm using the pads of my fingers, not my nails, to do this. Once you get the lather up into your hair, then I just kind of drag that down to the ends of my hair as well, and just whatever's left over goes through the ends. And then I rinse. So this is where I would use the apple cider vinegar rinse, the apple a day, if I were going to use it. I only use it like roughly once a month on my hair. Once every six weeks I can even get away with. So what I do is just try to remember when I go to get my gray roots covered that I wash my hair with this just before and kind of cleanse my scalp. Then I go get my hair colored just because it keeps me on schedule. But I just had it done so I do not need to use this right now. You can use this up to once a week depending on your scalp and how much dandruff and things like that that you have going on with your scalp, but I wouldn't recommend more than that. Also, I have a video explaining all about how to use the apple cider vinegar rinse. You can find it by clicking up here. And let's get on to the next step. Okay, so here's a little trick with your conditioner. Before I put my conditioner on, I take my hair and just gently squeeze as much water out of it as possible. So if you have a ton of water in your hair, it's just gonna dilute your conditioner, and I want my conditioner to go on thick so that it really absorbs and moisturizes my hair. So I'm using the SOS conditioner. I can use any of the three conditioners. If I want really silky smooth hair, I'm gonna use Tame the Mane. If I want something that's gonna give me tons of movement and volume, I would try Held High. SOS SOS is what I typically use on a daily basis because it's deep moisture and repair and because my hair is color treated, that's what I'm looking for the most often. So I'm gonna take a couple pumps of the conditioner. And the opposite of shampoo, you start at your ends before you go up to your roots. So I start at my ends and immediately when I place it into my ends, I start running my fingers through it like this and doing a basic finger comb. So I'm running, I'm smoothing that conditioner all throughout, and you're gonna notice I start pulling my shed out in the process too, as I'm detangling. And then I just slowly work it up. And then I do the same thing, I massage it into my roots, and I really work my scalp over, and just continue to finger comb, like this. Switch the other side and do it. And when I've got the predominant amount of finger combing done, I usually take a comb. Now you can use a wet toothbrush, 
You can use a wide tooth comb. You can use a very fine tooth comb if your hair, if it will go through your hair. Completely up to your curl pattern. So for me, I can go ahead and use a fine tooth comb and I comb the conditioner through my hair. This is just gonna give your hair extra moisturizing and conditioning because now we're making sure that conditioner is working through every single strand of hair. And usually your combs will run through really pretty smoothly because you have a bunch of moisturizer in your hair. So when I get it all combed through, I twist my hair back. You can use an elastic. You can put a shower cap on if you want. And then I let my hair sit with the conditioner on while I shave my legs, I shave my armpits, I wash my body, anything like that. And then I rinse after about five minutes. And when your hair has been sitting for a few minutes, then you just rinse out. Okay, you guys, mask great. So I use this several different ways. Sometimes I use this as a true mask where I do it after my conditioner, I put it through my hair, I let it sit with a shower cap on, and then I rinse it again. You can even sleep in it overnight if you have damp hair. Rinse it out the next morning if you really want. Uber absorption and super, super yummy moisturizer in your hair. This is probably how I use it most frequently is that instead of the conditioner, so instead of my SOS, I will switch out maybe once a month and use this as my conditioner. So I will just sub it out, use Masquerade, let it sit while I'm in the shower, and then rinse it out too. On Paisley's hair, I use this solely as the conditioner. So on my hair, that might be a little bit too heavy to use every time, but on Paisley's, her hair loves it because it got so much curl and texture. Since I've already used SOS, I'm not gonna use this today. My routine is pretty much done. You can see, like with my hair still conditioned, like how easily I can run my fingers through it. It's super moisturized. It's gonna be great for after styling. Two quick call outs. Number one, you guys, Out of My Hair works for all four hair types from straight to really coily hair and then co-wash is designed specifically for curly or coily hair. Sometimes I see people using co-wash on straight hair and then they're not getting exactly the results they want and it may be because it's just too heavy for the texture of their hair and their curl pattern. Also, if you're using currently a shampoo that has a sulfate or phthalate in it, your hair is used to being like stripped, stripped, stripped. So you're getting that super squeaky clean feel in your hair but it's actually really bad for your hair because you're not only stripping off the product and the buildup, you're stripping off the good parts of your scalp, you're stripping off the good clean oils in your hair. So you switching to any shampoo that is now sulfate or phthalate free, you may have a little bit different feel to your hair to begin with and it might take your hair a couple weeks to adjust to the clean formulas that you're working with. So when I'm done showering, I always wrap my head in a, like a microfiber towel. So that's what I did after my shower. And then I take a wet brush and I just comb through. And of course, when you're combing or brushing your hair, you always start at the ends. And remember, I detangled a ton in the shower, which makes it really easy for my brush to glide through my hair, right? Because I only have wavy hair. If you had curlier hair or something, you might experience something different than this, but I can go through mine. So I brush it out like this. When I'm done with that, then I've been taking the strength training leave-in pudding, and I just put a little tiny bit on my hands, like not a ton. It doesn't require a ton for my hair. Um, because this is pretty thick and I don't want it to oil my ends like weigh them down I just want it to condition them a little I take my hair all the way around one shoulder and I kind of do praying hands Through it you can see I kind of click this and then I do the same on this side And I'm going mid shaft down and the last little thing I do the only place that I go up higher is right here And I just run same amount like just basically running my palms through it right here on my face framing pieces because they get the most dry because I use them, they're the most damaged. So that's why. So you've conditioned it and if you use a conditioner, it's gonna be nice and hydrated and moisturized, but you need to seal it in with an oil. So that's when I take the argon oil and I do just a couple pumps again because my hair doesn't require a ton. So you can use more or less and I just kind of do the same thing. I just hit same basic areas, just kind of running my fingers lightly through it so none of the hair is getting completely soaked anywhere. It's just gonna be really light. And that's just sealing it up. 
And just so you know, argon oil too acts as a little bit of a heat protectant when it's dried into your hair, which is great. Now typically when I'm done with that, I usually shower at night. So this is happening all at night. I just go to bed or I let my hair air dry. And the next morning my hair is mostly dry because I prefer not to blow dry it. Today, since we're in the middle of the day, I am gonna blow dry it and then I'll jump back to you guys and show you what else I do. Okay guys, so I have my hair all finished blow drying. Blow dried pretty much straight. If my ends looked dry at this point, which maybe a tiny bit they still do, so I would maybe put a tiny bit more oil through, but if they're, it's looking good, then I just leave it be. Normally when I'm air drying, I don't have that issue. It's probably just because I blow dried it, so it puts more heat into the hair that it dried it out a little bit more. So now I'm going to style my hair. Start my style, I always separate off the bottom layer. Today I'm going to do viral curls, so I pull every Everything else out of the way except that bottom layer. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Wiggle Room Heritage Hairspray. And the nice thing about this is it's a flexible hold hairspray. You just barely need a tiny bit. And this is really just to give my hair a little extra hold when I put those curls in. It's not a finishing hairspray, it's like a flexible hold. It's gonna still give your hair a lot of movement and body, which is great. So I curled all of my hair, you guys saw me do that. And then I just kind of run my fingers through it like this. And if I find any pieces that I don't feel like are quite perfect, I retouch them for product stuff. I then take my dry shampoo, Lazy Day dry shampoo. And even on day one, so here's the trick is that even on day one, I put dry shampoo in because it's sitting on my hair and then it helps absorb as my hair starts getting oily. So I take the dry shampoo and I just spray some a little bit on the top like this. And then I do kind of some part lines and work down through my hair and this on both sides. And then I do just a little bit right in the back. So just right in the roots where you tend to get the most oily. And then I like extra volume in my hair as well. So then I take the texturizing powder and I tap it in this. And you can do the same thing. You can lift your hair up if you need to. And I especially do some right in the back in the crown right here. I like my hair kind of falling forward like this. And you can see my curls. And honestly, that's kind of pretty much it. Now, if I really wanted my hair to stay put, I like my hair to have like a lot of movement and I, I like fiddle with my hair all day long and flip it and stuff. So I don't usually use a really hard hold hairspray unless I'm like doing a, you know, like a bun or something that I want to stay put put. If I wanted to do that, I would use a harder hairspray, but for just everyday use, this is why I love the wiggle room again. And I might just take it and I might just do this in the front. And the best part about that is it just kind of keeps my curls from forming like one big curl. It kind of helps secure keep them separated a little, but it's also gonna help that curl just hold a little bit. And that's it, you guys. That's kind of the products I use and style. And the next day I would kind of do a similar thing. I would just start out with some more dry shampoo and a little more root texture powder if I needed it. And that would pretty much make my day two tear. So that's it. Okay, you guys, I hope that that hair care routine was helpful for you guys. I would love to know if your hair care routine is similar or very different or what you guys do that works. So leave me a comment below and let me know. And if you wanna see more of our videos, you can click over here and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.